Immigration Blog. Quick stop here in Dry Tavern, PA today. Uh, a little sentimental journey, if you will. We're back up at the old Dry Tavern school um, that is in the process of being torn down. Uh, we wanted to kind of get up here real quick before it was gone forever. Uh, get some pictures, get some video, which will uh, all be on the blog for you. Um, just want to tell you know, a couple quick stories. The school was built in 1930. Uh, there were several schools. They were all similar. Uh, there was Dry Tavern School. There was Pit Gas School, which is now also gone. Um, there was Central School, which is where the football field is located in Jefferson now. It's gone. Uh, Lippincott School, which is a church now. And I'm not sure if there was a school in Mather. And if it was, if it, I don't think it was like these, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. You said the Pit Gas School, too? Pit Gas School That's is gone. gone. It yeah. was Richardson's Rest Home, and it was sold uh, just recently and demolished. Uh, but the school here in Dry Tavern, this one, all these schools were used until 1979, and then they were closed, and then they moved all the kids to the new school at uh, up behind the high school in Jefferson. Um, so I went through first through fifth grade here, okay, and then for sixth grade, they shipped us to Pit Gas School, and we went there. So that so the class, the Jefferson class of '87 would have been the last group of kids to come out of the Dry Tavern School. Um, tons of stories, man, I can tell you about this place. This sidewalk right here, uh, we had a talent show one time, and Timmy Payton uh, brought his bicycle, and he put pop cans here, and he built a ramp, and he jumped the pop cans. That was back in the Evil Knievel days. I'll I think I was there. That. Never forget that. Uh, the circle here, the driveway, uh, the big thing with the circle was naturally the kid, we would run around it, and... Um, Oh, That's a school bus drop-off. Yeah, school buses came in. Roger Smith was the kid's name. He had red hair. Or no, no. Was it Roger? No, it wasn't Roger Smith. I'm, I can picture the kid's face, but I can't remember his name. It'll come to me. I'll put it on the blog. He could fly around that thing, man. He was crazy fast. Um, the gym. This was the only one of the schools that had a gymnasium. I'm going to um, stick my camera in here. The gymnasium here was actually used years later. Um... They did auctions in here, and then since then it's been closed up. It's in pretty rough shape now. Um, Evan's going to peek in there and take a look. That's What's weird about the school and what's weird about being here today, both for Evan and I, is the fact that these schools were closed, and other than the auctions and the first grade room was used as a video store for a while, other than that, they were closed and sealed. And they were left the same as they were when the kids, when we went there. So, like, if you would go back to your school, you know, if it's even still there, it's probably something else like the church in Lippincott, or it's probably, if it is still a school, it's probably been remodeled two or three times. So to walk through these halls today and go in the rooms was kind of weird. It was surreal because, you know, the chalkboards are still there. Some of them even still had writing on them. You know, it, it was crazy. It's just like being in a time machine and getting ready to go back to your childhood again. So, but uh, you know, we got permission and we came up and we you know, we took a quick trip through today because it's going to be going soon. And uh, we just wanted to come up and pay one last uh, visit to the old Dry Tower and School. I know the the posts that we've done on the school in the past have been pretty popular with people that went here, people that remember the school. And uh, just wanted to give you one last look at it before she's gone and. It turns into a Walmart, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. All but, right. Uh, there it is, man. Dry Tavern School. That was a good one. One more shot. The other entrance. Now, all these schools had a little board like that above it. I'm telling you what it was. Uh, the one, I was at the Green County Museum a couple months ago, and they have the pit gas one. Laying in the yard on display. Hopefully they'll, Hopefully they'll take these uh, cement signs down. That'd be kind of nice.